Hey guys, what's up? It's Melko Zunky, and welcome to my 1 to 99 prayer guide. In this guide, I'm going to be showing you not only just how you can train prayer on the gilded altar in your house, but also some other things that you may or may not have known that can really help out with your prayer training and possibly save you some money while you can get prayer experience just while you're doing Slayer and other things as well. So first of all, I'm going to go over how to set up the Gilded Altar in your house, and as well as the easiest way to access it and set up your bank so you're training prayer as fast as possible. And then we'll get into some other ways that can really increase your prayer experience. So when most people think about prayer, a lot of them think about the Gilded Altar, which is the most convenient way to train prayer as well as the fastest however it is also quite expensive this is how you guys are going to be training your prayer for the most part from 1 to 99 I would recommend to build your own altar in your own house even though you can use other people's altars it's far more convenient for it to be in your own house and it's faster and also it doesn't cost that much compared to all the money you're going to be spending on bones to get 99 anyway you do need 75 construction to build them which is a kind of a hurdle but construction is pretty fast as a skill on its own I'd recommend to build your own gilded altar in your own house. You can use other people's gilded altars, but considering how much you're going to be spending on making 99 prayer, um, 2 mil or so for a gilded altar is really not that big of a deal, and it's going to make your training significantly faster. So the first thing that you need is you need to build a chapel, which you need level 45 construction to build. I'd recommend to build this right next to your portal room, as I have done here, and that's going to make it really, really easy to access the chapel. And now on the altar space itself, you need level 75 construction, and you're going to need 2 marble blocks, 4 gold leaves two bolts of cloth and you also want to build incense burners the level 69 marble burners which take two marble blocks and two steel bars and you just want to make sure all of those are built and that it's right next to your portal and that's all you need to begin your prayer training how you want to set up your bank is something like this you want to make sure you have dragon bones in your first tab as long as some clean marantils and just summon your pack yak or war tortoise depending on what your summoning level is if you don't have access to the pack yak that's okay just fill it with dragon bones Go in your bank again, make sure you withdraw two clean marantils and the rest dragon bones or whatever bones you'll be using. I will touch on the bones that you should be using in just a second. And then use your spell that teleports you to your house. And as soon as you're at your house, just go in and make sure you light the incense burners before that you use dragon bones or whatever bones you're using on the altar itself. Just because the instant burners do increase the XP that you get. Now use the dragon bones on the altar and once your inventory is almost out, um, it can be handy to select the first option of your familiar to take Bob and just take it and your, your character will continue using the dragon bones and it will not stop the animation. When you are done using your inventory of dragon bones, just have either a tuckle, zoe, or a ring of dueling and click on it. Make sure that it's on your action bar for easy access. Teleport to the bank of your choice and bank and quickly withdraw the rest of the dragon bones you want to be using and repeat the whole process. When it comes to actually training your prayer and what bones you should be using, you have three good choices here. I cannot give you a price range as the prices in the GE change so much there is really no possible way to do that. However, these are the bones that for the most part are always going to be the most efficient bones to actually train with. First of all, you have the Infernal Ashes, which are a bit slower than Dragon Bones, but quite a bit cheaper. You have the Dragon Bones, which is the uh, steadfast way of training that most people know about and I would assume most people actually train to 99 prayer with, as well as the newer method, which is Eret Bones, which are quite a bit faster than dragon bones but more expensive so at the moment the two most efficient ways to train your prayer are with infernal ashes and air bones however prices do change a lot the air bones are actually slightly cheaper gp per xp than the dragon bones they usually are around the same xp per gp wise as the dragon bones are so for training if you are really poor and you can't afford to, a lot of money to spend on prayer i'd recommend to go with the infernal ashes if you are more into PVMing, or you can do Queen Black Dragon to make money for spending on skills. Eret Bones is the way to go. However, prices do always change, so you can always just Google to see what the prices are um, and decide that way which one is going to be the right one for you to use. The Bone Crusher is an item that you can buy from Dungeoneering using Dungeoneering tokens, which can increase the prayer XP that you gain during Slayer tasks. This item is not a replacement of other ways to train prayer, but it's a really nice way which can just boost your prayer experience while doing Slayer or even just killing monsters that drop regular bones or big bones or even dragon bones if you want to use it on dragon. It does work on those as well. So in the background, you'll just see a short clip of me killing some Aquanites, which drop big bones, and the Bone Crusher automatically buries them. This isn't great experience per hour, only about 20k or so XP per hour at absolute max speeds. However, it's just really nice to save you a little bit of money in the long run, and you will, over a whole, over the course of many, many Slayer tasks, get a bit of extra prayer experience that you would ha not have gotten without it. 
The Bone Crusher is not the only item that can really help gain prayer XP while doing Slayer tasks. Another one that is very helpful is the Infernal Urns. These urns are particularly useful on Black Dragon, Necreal, and Abyssal Demon tasks. They're urns that you require level 61 crafting to make. You can just buy them off the GE and then use air runes on them. However, you do need 61 crafting to do that. And in the background, you'll just see an example of me using them at Abyssal Demons. So these are really good uh, to use if you don't want to spend the time actually banking the ashes. If you do bank the ashes, you'll make quite a bit of profit. However, if you're lazy, if you don't feel like it, if you're having a bad day, just use some infernal urns and you'll gain around 15, 20k-ish prayer XP just while doing your task for completely free. So these are really nice as well. The final way of gaining prayer XP without actually spending any money on dragon bones or other bones that I know of is the Fight Cauldron. So the Fight Cauldron does have some pretty high requirements. You need to complete a Grandmaster quest called the Brink of Extinction to access it. The great thing about the Fight Cauldron, though, is you can get antique lamps from the boss of the Fight Cauldron. You usually come about across about three of these bosses, possibly four if you're lucky, per hour, depending on how quickly you kill the Takar monsters as well. So the great thing about the Fight Cauldron is it is insanely good combat XP, usually getting up to almost 500,000 XP in either magic or range or melee or whatever you decide to use per hour. In addition to all that combat XP, you also gain about 900k worth of stuff and drops per hour. You can also have the possibility of getting an uncut onyx drop. And every time you kill this boss, there is an antique lamp and you can spend that lamp on prayer XP. XP, or even Herblore or Summoning if you want to spend it on those skills as well, and it's always 20k XP no matter what your level is. So there's some free prayer XP, as well as a kind of fun minigame to train your combat st stats with as well. So that's about going to do it for this guide. Just remember, at the current time right now, in the GE prices, the best bones to use for training are actually Eret bones. However, prices do change a lot, so even though I cannot keep this guide constantly up to date with prices, you can yourself just by googling prayer training, and it'll bring you to the RuneScape wiki, which have a page which tells you the costs, and that link will also be down in the description, so if you want a link to a guide that's always up to date on the current prices of prayer, just click on the link. Um, I also have a Fight Cauldron guide if you want to check that out. A link to that will be somewhere on screen. Anyway, that's about all for this guide. I hope that it helped, and I only have one more, officially one more skill guide to do for level 99, which is Divination, which should be coming out soon, so thank you guys for watching, and farewell.